really quick guys thank y'all for those who have purchased from our website fadedculture.co we appreciate all the love and support I want to see my company somehow. <laughs> like you're watering your plants, I'm watering the fake plants, watering the fake plants, that's off the plaque. Water and then the Water and then the plaque. All right, guys, before we get started, I wanted to thank y'all so much for the 200K subscribers. We just hit it. Stay tuned. We are going to do a giveaway. So I want, I want to know y'all's ideas on what we should give away. Y'all want some apparel? Y'all want a clipper set? Some cash? Because I know all of y'all who are viewers ain't barbers. So let us know down in the comments below on y'all's ideas what we should give away. Again, guys, thank y'all so much. 200K subscribers is a huge milestone for us. Enough talking, and let's jump right into this tutorial. What's going on Faded Culture? I'm Adrian Barone and we're back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be running down the steps on how to do a four all around and a bald taper fade on my man Anthony here. I hope you enjoy these steps, share it with one of y'all's barber buddies and let's jump right into it. And just a reminder guys, all the steps will be in the description down below for this tutorial in case y'all want to screenshot them and follow along that way as well. Really quick guys, I wanted to give a shout out to today's sponsor. They go by the name of Limero. It's an amazing clipper brand. We've actually used them in the past. I will go ahead and post some of our videos right here on the screen. But they just dropped this new K345, which has an amazing adjustable motor speed. It has two speed controls designed for different hair types. It's also a good clipper for those who want to use it professionally and those who just cut hair at home casually. I will leave a link down in the description below alongside with the discount code. Now let's get to this tutorial. Like every tutorial guys, you want to start by combing the hair in its natural position. Make sure that you are combing according to the cowlick. And we're going to start by running the number four lever completely closed. Make sure that you are consistently cutting against the grain. That way the hair is even throughout. And no matter what guard or clipper you're using, you always want to go over the top a few times. So here I'm combing the hair just to reset it. And then I go ahead and pass it through one more time. I'm constantly dusting off the client. You always want to work with a clean canvas as much as possible. Now to begin our first guideline, we're going to use no guard and close the lever completely. Starting at that temple peak area, we're going to angle it coming towards the ear. And let's begin. I highly suggest that you keep a small brush on your opposite hand to then clean your canvas every few strokes. And go over your guidelines at least more than once as it is critical to get them as clean as possible. And I use this connection to set the guideline for the back taper. And when you're viewing him from the back, the guideline is more so on the upper hand of the earlobe. And same thing for the opposite side. Make sure that you do start at that temple peak area. Now for our second guideline, still no guard, but we're gonna open the lever completely. And take that up about half an inch or so. Make sure that this guideline does run parallel to the one underneath it. That way your fade is even throughout. Stay soft and easy with these strokes guys as it will be a lot easier when we come back down and start to erase these guidelines. Now with our number one guard, lever still in that fully open position, we're going to come in and set in our third guideline and it's going to be the same process, taking that up about half an inch to an inch or so. And don't forget that same key concept of having these guidelines parallel to each other. Next, we're going to use our number two guard lever still in that fully open position and continue the process. 
as you can see with this guard i am exaggerating that flick out motion as i do not want to dig in and create a deep line if you are smooth enough the two almost blends right into that four And just as a rule of thumb, I do keep that lever fully open when setting up these guidelines, guys. All that changes is the guards. And finally, for the number three, just to connect that two to the four, lever still fully open. As you can see, it really didn't need it but I do like to tighten up the fade as much as possible. By now you should have the first guideline that we created with the zero, second that we created with the lever open, and third that we created with the one guard lever open. We're gonna start with that one and work our way down. Using my one and a half guard, I'm gonna close the lever just slightly putting it into a 3 fourths position. It's basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open. And using mainly the corners of the clipper guys, I'm gonna attack that upmost guideline. As you can see in the back, I have those same three guidelines. Starting with that top one and working our way down. And yes, my clippers are zero gap, guys. I will leave a link down in the description below on how we do zero gap our clippers as I highly suggest that you try it as well. Now to work on that second guideline coming down. We're gonna use our half guard. Lever still in that three fourths position. Do not move the lever, guys. Using again, mainly just the corners of the clipper. He did have a small design on this side. That's why it looks a little off, but we're gonna work through it. And this process does create a faint line right above it. But do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with the one guard and remove that. Just really focus on taking away that initial guideline. So like I mentioned, not to remove this faint line, we're gonna use a number one guard, but we're still gonna leave the lever in that 3 fourths position, guys. Now to remove that first guideline that we created with the zero, we're going to start by closing the lever all the way, then we're going to open it halfway, and then we're going to open it up all the way completely. And we're going to use that same three step process, taking each of those notches up just slightly. I found that by taking away that first initial guideline that we created with the zero, with the actual zero it almost compresses the fade real nice so i highly suggest y'all try it guys finally the lever is open completely and once we're done with that three-step process guys we're going to do any touch of work using my half guard I'm gonna use the lever completely open and just adjust as I go, which is called lever play. And this lever play is gonna really vary from one side of the head to another and from client to client, so there is no one step process for this. You'll just develop an eye for it with time. Again, using that three step process, my lever is completely closed. Now we're gonna go halfway. 
and take your time with all of this guys my haircuts do take me anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes and that is per client i usually like to focus on as much detail as possible now the lever is completely open and finishing off the process Again, not to just do any touch up work. And I'm gonna use my trimmer in this forward position to get a lot closer to the scalp and then turn it around and remove the faint line that that created. And by using my trimmer forward, it's just gonna get a lot closer to the scalp and it's gonna create a distinction from that bottom hair that I still need to remove to the fade. And you'll see that it's gonna leave a faint line. That way we know exactly how high up to take the electric shaver. Just make sure that your trimmers are properly zero gap because if you're using them in that forward position and they're not, you will scratch the client. You can see this is that faint line that I was speaking of. Now we have a distinction from the bottom air to the fade. It's very subtle, but it is there. Now to use our electric shaver. And as you approach that faint line, always use your electric shaver as if it was a clipper. Turn it around and use the corners of it. That way you don't create another line on top of that. Now to start edging up the sides. As usual, I always trim some, then brush the hair down, and then go over it a few times. Here, I'm just using spritz. It's basically a hairspray, and I'm gonna blow dry the hair down. That way we get the hair as clean as possible for the lineup. Always start in that middle position and work your way to the sides. And even before I start working on the other side, I kind of always readjust, realign, start from the middle, and then move my way to the opposite side. Here I'm just cleaning up his eyebrows. I always highly suggest that you ask your client if they want any of their facial hair touched up or eyebrows. Go that extra mile and even clean some of the nose hair if they got some sticking out, guys. Here I'm applying shave gel. A quick tip I have for y'all with shave gel, I do spray a little bit of water after the shave gel just to keep the hair moist. And start by shaving with the grain and then come back at it against the grain. Always using your opposite hand to stretch the skin to ensure a smoother shave.
here I have pomade really really emulsified as you saw it's almost transparent in my hand that's how much you have to emulsify that pomade so you don't have clumps in his hair here I'm just adding a little bit of semi-permanent hair dye the link is in the description below for this air gun guys in case I want to check them out here's the before in case I forgot it's only been maybe like two or three weeks since he's last seen me and here's the after a four all around with a ball taper guys I really hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial I hope y'all took something new out of it as usual let us know down in the comments below which I would like for us to do next again thank y'all so much for that 200k milestone until next time guys peace <laughs>